Tomorrow is a big day here in Jacksonville. Jacksonville will implode the old City Hall building on Bay Street. But as News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggy reports, this isn't the first time Jacksonville has imploded a city monument. He takes a look back at past demolitions dating back to the 90s. Jacksonville really likes to blow things up. It was just in June when we saw these iconic cooling towers come down on the north side. It just took seconds to erase part of the city's landscape. A few months later, when FPL took down this tower on the north side without letting anyone know, it changed the rules in Jacksonville about informing the public on events like this. But let's go back even further. Remember this in 2003? The Coliseum came down. The dynamite blast circled all around the domed roof, sending it plummeting onto itself. In its place, the new arena and ballpark. In 2002, JEA imploded the Southside Generating Station on the South Bank, and we're still waiting on development there. In 1992, the old Acosta Bridge was blown up, making way for the new bridge. There have been other implosions in other areas of the city, and all of these are being done to make way for new development. And we should see new development eventually here at the site of the old city hall and courthouse, which will soon be a memory, like all of these past implosions. Just for fun, well, let's watch them again. Out with the old, in with the new. Well, tomorrow morning, our special Bold City Blast. We will have cameras throughout downtown to give you the best views of the implosion of the 15 floor building. Our coverage begins an hour early at 6 a.m. The implosion is scheduled for 8 o'clock, weather permitting. And a programming note due to our special report, In Touch Ministries, which normally begins at 6 a.m. on Sundays, that will not be shown. It will resume next Sunday.